Hi, my name is Dat Mohawk though, and obviously you're expecting some form of beautiful, well-rehearsed video today, but the truth is, I can't do a beautifully rehearsed video today because I've realised something today, and the truth is, I don't know how to explain it. Now, I'm going to put together a video which kind of hopefully explains a little bit more, but I doubt it will. In fact, it'll probably leave more questions. But basically, today I set out to write, uh, to film a journey. But the truth is, what I found instead was myself hurting. Hurting because it made me realize that people around me are really hurting. Two people I love and care about so, so much are hurting. And I can't do anything about it. I have to kind of sit there and watch them hurt. The journey that I filmed is me going to a place called Milton Keynes. And I couldn't film any more when I got there because reality kicked in. I kind of got to that point during filming where I didn't want to film anymore because it felt horrible. Sometimes there are moments I'm never going to be able to capture on a camera, that I'm never going to be able to capture on a vlog, or a blog, or a tweet, or whatever. Sometimes the moments you get with the people you love when they're in pain are irreplaceable. When you see someone hurting, especially for a medical reason, up close, it's horrible. And I want you to see how, what I mean when I filmed it, because, you know, it's pretty spectacular, and I'd like to hope the footage is quite good. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Good morning, guys. It's quarter to eight in the morning. Um, today's video is a bit special. Today I'm going on a journey. And in this one, I'll explain in the end, at the very end, why I decided to film today. Hey guys, so it's just gone maybe quarter past eight now, and I'm in the woods, namely the woods with that stump. That stump being where I filmed the Mohawk speech. But as I make this video today, it's gonna get a little bit interesting because I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna film. But I know when the time comes and I film the correct moment, you guys are probably either gonna go, ah, or you're gonna go, why did I choose to film it? And the short answer is, I won't have an answer for you until I put it together. So I thought I'd just point out to you guys that, you know I mentioned about my tattoos and I video where I spoke about my music taste. Well, here it is. We've got a lovely view. But let's just take this moment in for a brief. Welcome to Luke. So, here's where everyone does their shopping. It's kind of the main high street -y sort of place.
you've probably just watched that and thought it's just a load of cobbled together shots about being trying to be a media student or something but the truth is it's more profound than that it's the journey and for me going there in the light and coming back in the dark is really a testament to life's journey really you kind of realize that life isn't perfect that life isn't straightforward if it was we wouldn't put ourselves in the situations we do every single day I know for a fact that there are times that I'd love to change things that I've done in my past to make my life a hell of a lot easier, but the truth is, I can't. And, especially seeing as it's a new year, we shouldn't strive to change the past, we should strive to change the future. To go forward and be happy with who we are, and more importantly, be happy knowing that we've been there for people, not only in their darkest hour, but also in their lightest hour, and in their worst hour, and in the greatest moments of their achievements. My friends who I've seen perform live on stage, my friends who I've seen in dire agony because they've hurt themselves or they are hurting, either emotionally or physically, as weird as it sounds, they're memories that we can never get back, and more importantly, they're things worth seeing. Because if you can sit there and see someone in their darkest hour and not run, then I think that makes you probably one of the best people in the universe. And for me, that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. I feel incredibly proud of myself that I've witnessed some really medically horrible things happening to my dear family and friends, and I've not been able to do anything about it. Sorry about the weird angle of this part of the vlog. But I hope you guys understand that the short film in between these bits is kind of a big deal to me.